All right, after the last video where we talked about this position briefly, a lot of people were saying, what happened? Did you finish the game? Did you beat Stockfish or were you able to get checkmate? And I actually didn't follow through with that. So whatever you saw in the video was all that I really practiced. I didn't keep trying. So what I'm gonna do today is see if I can beat Stockfish from this position. So I'm taking the four pieces, I'm giving Stockfish the king and the queen, and we're gonna see what happens. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna try something different. I think last time I started like randomly bringing my king up and I had to go back and it didn't really help anything. So let's just move my bishop here, see if we can create some sort of set up with the bishops like this and see if that helps us. Okay, so let's block with the knight. We'll leave the bishops like that. So somehow we have to force the king to a corner or to the edge of the board. But at the same time, we have to stop all the checks from the queen. So let's go here. And that takes away this, and I can maybe run this way with my king. Let's try that. Okay, what is Stockfish up to here? Okay, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm going to go with the same plan. See if I can ring my king around like this. Okay. So if I go here, are there any checks? There's a check here. I could block with the knight, but then there's going to be another check here. I could block. What else can I do? It makes sense. I can throw in this check. Let's do that. Let's see where the king's going to go. But it's defended, so I can always come back if I need to. Okay, so we've got the king in this. Again, there's this queen move, but I can come up here. Oh no, then my bishop's hanging. I can't do that, so I can't go there. Okay, what about this move? Kind of limits the king's movement. That's still defended. That's defended. Everything's defended. There's no checks. Let's try that. Because now I'm threatening something like this, and that's going to force the king back. Ah, see, Stockfish is, is on to my idea. And I can't move this knight or the bishop falls, so I have to either go back here, which doesn't really accomplish anything, or move this knight. I can go here. I don't know where the king's going to go, but at least it gets it out of that square. Let's try that. There's no checks from the queen, so I'm okay. All right, so we have to do something with the knight. We can come over here, or we can try to defend it. I'm a little bit concerned that Stockfish is going to somehow... No, I could put the bishop here. But I don't really know if that accomplishes anything. Maybe I can come here, and if the king goes there, I can come over here, check. Or even I can do... Yeah, let's, let's just swing the knight around. I like this setup, because I feel like it's really limiting the king. So I'm going to try to go forward with that plan. Okay, so which knight do I use? This one is more aggressive, but then am I going to be able to shelter my king enough? If I go this way, I can potentially use this route for my king if I need to. Hmm. If we go here, maybe th no, then the king's going to go there. All right, let's do this one because I think I might need to like use this to hide my king. So we'll try this. We're on move nine, by the way. Okay, so what if I go here and just keep trying to push the bishops forward? Here or here, actually, both kind of are similar. Let's try this one. I don't know what Stockfish is going to do. I'm thinking like over here, maybe? Okay. So I can go here, check here, check here, and just kind of run this way with my king. I can play knight here. 
the idea of going check here, which is forcing the king back. I like that a lot. The question is, can I get out of the checks? There's a check here and a check here. I can just slide over and hide over here. Let's do that. This is defended. This is defended. This is undefended, but the queen can't attack it right now. Okay, so let's run here. And then our plan will be to go here and force the king a little bit further back. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like we're making some progress slowly but surely. So we've got this V, and we're just gonna keep making it smaller. Well, we got stockfish thinking a lot. Either that or I broke it. I broke stockfish. Okay, I had to reset stockfish there. It, it, it wasn't moving. I don't know why. Uh, I just turned it off and back on again, and now we have a move. So anyway, all right. I think we're going to go with the same plan over here. I do see this check. But I can block one of the knights. I could do this too. And then let's see, there's no check here. There's a check here. I could slide over. And there's no more checks. No more checks. Everything's defended. Maybe that's better. Let's do that. This way. Oh, this isn't defended anymore. But I want to move that one anyway. So... I think that's fine. I'm expecting check. I can go here. There's no checks. And then I can follow up with bishop here. Okay. Computer seems to be having a hard time. There we go. All right. I'm going to go with my plan over here. And next move, I would like to play here. And of course, if the queen sacrifices for two pieces, well, we can mate with the knight and the bishop. So that's not an option for the queen. So uh, what is Stockfish going to do? I don't know. But I'm going to go here. And I'm not really sure why Stockfish is taking so long. There we go. All right. So let's do the plan. Make sure there's no checks. Everything's defended. That's defended. That's defended. That's defended. Okay, cool. Now I feel like I need to maneuver my king closer somehow because I want to be able to like move my knight. But this has to be defended. Okay. I could go here, actually. But then the king goes here, and I don't really know if that's helpful to me. Yeah, I don't really think it is. So what's going to be helpful? Putting my king like over here, maybe. Let's do that. Yes. Basically, I want the bishop to be defended by my king so that my knight can deliver the check. I guess alternatively I could use this knight to deliver the check. So I could go like here. All right, so option one or option two or option three, I guess. What if I go here and attack the queen? There's a check. There's a check. I don't really like that. But if I go here, where's the queen going to go? Probably like somewhere over here. And then what am I doing? Can't go check yet. I can't get there because the queen's on the diagonal. Here, there's no check there. There is this check and this check. King's gonna go here. Check. King's gonna go here. Check. Hmm. I don't like that. I think I'd rather have my knight over here in that example. All right. Let's try this. Oh, wait a second. That's a blunder. Oh, stockfish. So tricky. Okay. 
All right, so maybe maybe I do need to go with this plan, bringing the king like I was initially thinking. I got to keep everything defended so I don't lose a piece to some trick like that. 17 moves in. So if the queen never leaves, I can't put my king there. Oh, well, it just left. But it can always go back and put me in check. So... Maybe now is the time to move this knight and try to go in with the knight. Now, of course, Stockfish is going to put me in check. So what's the check? Here or here? Well, this one allows me to just come over, which is what I wanted. Ah, no, but there's still this annoying check. So what can I do to make progress? Knight here. Check, I lose my knight. King here. Hmm. Maybe I have to go this way and put the king there. What else can I do? There's just so many threats that I have to watch out for. I can't go there because I need this defended. If I move here, I lose my knight. All right, I don't know. Let's let's just go here and see what happens. Blunder. Computer said that was a blunder. Okay. And that's why it was a blunder. If I go here, it saves the knight. I lose the bishop. If I go here, I lose this bishop. All right, let's go back. I'm going to take back. I know you're not supposed to do that. But I'm going to take it back because I feel like we're so close. Let's try this move. Although I feel like it doesn't accomplish anything, actually. I already looked at this, right? Yeah, there's just a check. What if I do this, though? What if I do Doesn't that accomplish something? Check. Looks like it does. I don't know why the computer didn't go here, but okay. Okay, so we've got him kind of pushed back a little bit. That seems encouraging. Let's go ahead. And then there we go. We've got it a little bit smaller. See if I can not lose a piece here. What if I do this? And that's defended. Or here so that I can put the bishop there. Yeah, let's try that, because I want to just keep moving the bishops forward. Okay, so we, but we do have to get out of these checks. That's a bit of a problem. Maybe we run over like this. I want to be careful. This bishop's not defended, so I want to, like, watch out for forks on that. All right, let's go here. And then over here, maybe. We're on move 23. We had one take back. Ah, that's the idea. Okay. Here, check. Here, check. I can block with the bishop. There's... Is that a safe move? I think that's a safe move. I don't know if it's a good move, but I think it's a safe move. I mean, this is this is looking good, right? This is looking good. This is a, a much smaller V than we had before. But I feel like this knight is a little bit out of the picture, which could be a problem for us. Like if this knight was like somewhere over here, that'd be great. I just can't do it. All right, so he's going to go check, probably for sure. Yes. Can't block or I lose this. I can go here. And then I have the threat to block that with the knight check, which means this or this. I can block with the knight. Maybe that works. What if I go here, actually? 
Does black have any... Oh, my bishop's hanging. My bishop's hanging. All right, so I, I have to do this. That's the only move. Because I got to save my bishop. I couldn't do this. Yeah, I had to play this. Okay. And again, I can't move or I lose the bishop, so I have to go here. And now I go back or I block. If I block, the king can go there. That doesn't really let the king out. It's still kind of on the edge of the board. But is this any better? There's no checks because the knight's really good at defending. And then I could go here and bring my bishop up. Maybe I'll just do that. That looks simple enough. Ah, uh, he's going to attack the bishop, of course. I can't do that. Okay. Let's try, I guess let's try the other move. Let's try bishop g4. Since I don't know how to deal with that. But bishop g4, there's queen check here. Maybe it's fine. But yeah, bishop g4. Maybe I can go here. I still want to get this bishop here, which means I need a knight somewhere to defend that. All right, let's go over here. But there's queen here. I can't do that or queen here, right? And then what? I'm losing a piece. No, I'm not losing a piece, but I can't really make progress. So I have to do something like this instead. Hmm. See, this is the problem. The queen, not only can it put me in check, it can also attack any piece that's undefended. Which is really annoying. Oh, I can play knight here, though. We can play knight here. But does that let the king out? I can play bishop here, actually. Oh, but then he's going to play the same. We're going to get the same position, aren't we? Maybe I have to try this because it stops the queen there. The queen can't attack my bishop. All right, so knight f5. Let's do this. I think the king might go here, but that's sort of dangerous, right? No. Not going there. Okay. Let's go here. Because we really need this knight to be closer. That seems good. Although I'm not sure if the king is just getting away now. Yeah, is it? Let's think about this. There's almost a fork, but I can't play there. Right? So I have to move the bishop. I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. We're on 33 moves. And now the king is sort of coming back to the center of the board. Wow. Okay, well, let's just, let's see which way, this way, this way, let's go this way. This is very difficult. This is actually much more difficult than I realized. If I go there, check, I lose my knight. Ah, but then I can go discover check and take it. So that's a cool trick. Here, here, takes, I have this one, check, and I'm going to win the queen with my knight, so I'll win. Okay, but he's not going to take it, he's just going to, like, move over here, and I'm back to square one, trying to get the king out of the center, yep. Ooh, okay. Let's try a different strategy. Maybe we don't use the bishops in front like that, maybe we do the knights and the 
king or something. I don't know. Just march my king up to the center. See if that does anything for me. There's no check. There's one check. One check. But that's easy enough to deal with. Let's actually do it this way. 40 moves. Seems like I didn't really make much progress, but we're going to keep trying. I'll probably try until I get to 50 moves. And if his king's still in the center at 50 moves, I might just say that I'm not skilled enough to do this. Okay. Ends the bishop. So how do we... Let's loop this knight around. Oh, it's a blunder. Sorry. Can't do that. Second take back. Let's go here. Nope. And yeah, I can do that. I can do that because I can block like this. Can block. Okay. Go here. Does that help me? I have no idea. Let's try it. Oh, sorry about that. I just clicked the the uh, annotation accidentally. Um, let's see. I just don't feel like I'm making any progress here. I have a random check, but what does that even do? Right, let's just get everything defended. And here come the annoying checks from behind. How do I stop that? Like all these checks. Oh, now it's saying it's a draw? It was a win before, now it's a draw? Maybe I will turn on the table base for just a second. Win prevented by the 50 move rule. Okay, but there's still a win. The only moves that win are bishop g2 and bishop h1. Would I have played that? Well, I guess I kind of have to because everything is... What about this? Is that not? Isn't that still a win? Nope. It's a draw. Queen F8 check. He's going to play. Queen F8's a draw. Hmm. Okay. And there you go. So, clearly, I have... I don't have the skills to do this. We can just do a quick recap of my attempt. Look at this. Let me just actually check one thing. Let's see. When I got to like right around here, let's turn on the table base. Yes. So I did have a win. And somewhere along the line, I messed it up. Let's see. How did I do that? Okay. Okay. I was still winning. How did I mess it up? That wasn't a good move. Knight to e2, I was supposed to play. Okay. Hmm. And then let's go a little further. Yeah, I, I basically was going the wrong way. So like somewhere over here. Let's see. Right around here. I had a win. Actually, let's go here. Sorry. A win in 50-something moves. And then now it's a win in like 60 moves when I get over here. Anyway, moral of the story is I'm not capable of checkmating with four pieces against a queen. So, yeah. Uh, and by the way, the example that they put in the book, it's like the king's in the corner and all the pieces are like around it. And yeah, I'll just show you real quick. Let's go board editor. Let's clear this. Yeah, so they put the black king in the corner. They put both bishops in front. King here. And two knights here. 
and the queen is down here. Okay, so let's actually just go from this position. We'll try one more time. So analysis board, let's go practice against the computer, and here we go. All right, so the knight's pinned. Check, check. The king's going to run here, and you can't mate him because it's pinned, so that's one thing. I can go check with the knight. I mean, it seems like a good move, right? Check, check. Let's see. What if I go here to threaten checkmate? Can I have checkmate threats with both knights? Can I get out of checks is the question. Can I get out of checks if I do that? Hmm. What if I go here, threatening mate that way, and then I can run over here and hide? Let's try that. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Nope. Blundered it away. Just like that. How is that a blunder? Queen's going to come here. Is that why? I can't do anything? So what's the move? I give up. This is very difficult. Let's, let's go back. Let's just see what's... Turn on the table base here. I'll show you guys this. All right. Bishop c4 is the fastest win. Bishop c4. You, you attack the queen. Okay. Queen moves to c1. Bishop to d3. See, I never would have thought about doing this. It's just not like a human thing. I don't think. Queen to d2. Bishop to h6. Hacking. So you like attack the queen instead of the... It's it's crazy. Queen, what is it? Queen of two. Okay. Now knight g6 check. King doesn't matter. Let's go king g8. Now bishop c4 check. King h7. Okay, now let me see if I can see the mate here. Check. And mate, right? Yeah, okay. Wow. Well, there you go. That's how you win with four pieces against the queen. Uh, as you can see from this video, pretty straightforward. I think anybody should be able to do it. Um, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something. As always, stay sharp, play smart, take care.